I would like, if I may, to take you on a very strange journey. introduce you to Zombie Man, a modern day canvas for transgressional art. Unlike most transgressional artists, Zombie Man and many others decide to use their bodies rather than a wall and spray paint to express themselves. To start with I'd like to show you the definitions of art, tattoos and deviancy and show you how they all interlink to become transgressional art. Avoid the cliche I'm gonna suspend my senses I'm gonna delay my pleasure for markings, rituals and traditions for hundreds of years. It is only very recently that Western society has taken and run with the concept of tattoos. We do so for expression, for the things that make us happy, for the things we never want to forget. We do it to feel close to other people. Tattoos have even found their way into the sacredness of religion. But as you can imagine, tattoos have not always been so accepted. really do show how far we have come. I've seen a tattoo on the street with a common chance. I remember seeing them in these films. If not, maybe these pictures will jog your memory. Mickey is depicted with religious tattoos covering his body. Fox has toil and tears written down her upper arms. 
The film version of Sirius Black finds him with prison tattoos, and the fun-loving Captain Jack has more than a sparrow tattooed on his forearm. While it might not be new to see tattoos on our television screens, the celebrity tattoo artist is a new thing. Let me introduce Kat Von D. Von D is a 33-year-old tattoo artist who opened her first tattoo parlour at the tender age of 25. So don't take my word for it, here's a clip from a morning TV show in America. Well, when it comes to tattooing, Kat Von D is like the Meryl Streep of her profession, like mm. top of the tree. Yeah. The versatile artist has inked some of the biggest names in the biz, from Beyonce to Jared Leto, even Miley Cyrus. Uh, since appearing on the popular reality show LA Inc, Kat's become a household name, and now the savvy businesswoman's branching out into a whole new art form. I'm hoping that the next tattoo artist doesn't need much of an introduction, but here's some facts that you might like to know. If you're a little bit lost, here's a clip from the man himself. Enjoy. My style in tattooing essentially has been to develop the client's idea as good as it can be done. To make people happy with what they want. I've been tattooing strictly one-of-a-kind images in collaboration with the person for the last 30 years. I know what you're thinking. She's saying it's a staple of life for someone to have a tattoo but she's using a model and two tattoo artists. How can these be advocates for the norm? So I'll give it one last try to convince you. This is Dr. Matt Taylor, a scientist with the European Space Agency. Matt is a scientist for the Rosetta Project, even with his sleeve tattoos. I'm not saying that the situation is black and white, or even that tattoos are not transgressional anymore. In every walk of life, there are extremists, and these extremists cause the terms transgression and tattoos to stay in the same thought process. Eye tattoos are by far the most controversial type of tattoo, with tattoo artists like Kat Von D or Ed Hardy not even toying with the idea of doing so. This is because the client can be left blind after their tattoo process is finished. On a more personal note, I'd like to explain to you why I got my own tattoo and what the true meaning is to me and why I can never see it as transgressional. Thank you for watching. I'd like to end the video with a YouTube clip. We get tattoos to remember where we came from, what to live by, who we've loved. We get them because we love. And so we don't forget to be good to each other because sometimes we need a reminder. People can be mean to us. You're going to want to scare them sometimes. People will look at you all inked up and expect you to be a certain way. Show them something they didn't expect. Life is full of pain. Most of it we didn't ask for. It just happened to us. So when we choose to feel pain, there's a very good reason for it. Whether we've been planning our tattoos for five years or five seconds, tasteful, noble, beautiful. Whether the tattoo tells the story of a, of a lifetime or just one crazy night. We took control. We paid the money. We stepped up to that counter and said, I want this on me forever. We made the choice. What will your choice be?